everyone here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're all staying safe, happy, and healthy. How was your week? We did it. It's Friday. Oh, are you like me? You get to sometimes you get to the Friday. You're like, thank God it's Friday. Nice that the Friday comes around. You know, Mondays are great because it's always the start of a new week. It's the start of something fresh that anything can happen. But I tell you, there's nothing beats a Friday and coming home and putting the feet up and looking back at the week and what you did and being like, you know, look at all the great things that I accomplished this week. And part of that is by setting routines for yourself. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk about, you know, routines and why it's important as runners and basically in life in general. So you can, you can kind of take this in contents of not just for running, but for life and why it's important to set those routines for yourself. For me, there's a, there's a few reasons why I set the routines. Now I started, before I was really, really bad at setting routines. I actually didn't set routines at all during the week. I kind of just was like a, let's go by the fire, by the seat of our pants. We're just going to take it as it comes and Bob's your uncle, I'll do whatever I want. And by doing that, help led to my weight gain and, you know, ballooning out of control because I was not setting structure up and I was going through drive throughs eating and basically eating poorly and not exercising and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that was, that was then, this is now. And, and what the difference was is I started setting routines up for myself led to measurable goals. And that, you know, that was really cool to see. So, you know, every week I, I would say, say to myself, when is my weight loss journey? I'd say, okay, Ryan, my goal is by this, end of this week, I want to achieve, now you don't want to lose like three or four pounds in a week because that's unhealthy, but uh, a pound or so is, is natural. So, you know, let, let's go for a pound. Let's, let's, let's try to lose a pound. And that's what I did, and, I, and, I, and so, I, and so by, and by setting those, that routine up for myself, I would then start food preparation and, and how do I properly diet and, and meal plan and all that good stuff. And, and I learned those routines, you know, later in life. I should have learned them earlier in life, but shoulda, coulda, woulda, it is what it is. Um, and now I've taken that structure and I put that focus into my running and that's where we are today with running. I, I really, you know, feel that, you know, I'm by setting that structure up now, I'm seeing the improved times except for Wednesday's run, which was all kind of suck. I was just out there going through the motions and I was just like, ugh, it was just, this is like slower than back in October. This is crazy. But a run is a run. They're not all going to be good runs. We're going to have those days when we're just going through it. Again, by setting that routine up for ourselves and getting out there. And, and it's funny because I wasn't even going to go for the run. I was, I was just, I was tired because, you know, I, I just had my, I just got my, my second COVID shot, which I recommend everybody getting. So please ensure you get your, your shots. Um, and then, you know, I, I got my second COVID shot. I woke up and I, I was tired. And I was like, well, tomorrow I'll get it. I'll do my run tomorrow. And then I looked at my schedule and I said to myself, okay, well, what do I got going on tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'm doing strength training. Okay, so what's going to be the impact of my strength training tomorrow if I skip my run today? Well, maybe I'll decide tomorrow I'm not going to do my strength training. And that's the, that's the domino effect, right? That's what, that's what we, we were talking about, about, you know, building structures. You know, I know... Thursday, this is what I have planned. So if I don't get it done on Wednesday, it's going to make the rest of my week set up for failure. And that's not what I'm looking for. By creating structure and creating routine, what I'm doing for myself is creating measurable, achievable goals that I can look back on and be proud of. So I go back to some of my stats in Strava, and I'm using um, Training Peaks as my platform for my running. And I can be like, oh yeah, Wednesday of last week, I did that same run at 5.46. Huh, this week I did it at 7.05. I wonder what the difference was. Well, that's because I didn't get the sleep that I had last week. And oh, that, that's, that's why. So, you know, I can look back and, and reflect on things like that as to how, how things went and, and where, where things went astray during the week. And that's why it's important. The other reason why it's important, you know, for me, I'm single. And if I want to go eat peanut butter and jam and in the kitchen with my underwear on, I'm going to. Not to say I'm going to, but I can because I'm single and that's 
on a single folk can do. We can do whatever we want. Uh, but, so, you know, if you're in a relationship and you're with a spouse or a partner, by setting a schedule and routine up, it allows for compromise. Because, you know, maybe they're not necessarily interested in what you're doing, but maybe you can schedule something with them afterwards. Hey, I'm going to be doing my hour and a half run. Let's meet over here for dinner afterwards and we can talk about our day, right? You can do stuff like that together. So it so allows for a chance to compromise and, 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 to, and to look at things differently as a couple. Or if they are into, this, into running, um, maybe you guys are different pace. Maybe you can take an, an easy day, and we're going to talk about easy days in a minute. Maybe we can take an easy day and you can run together because an easy, an easy day run is not always, you don't have to bust it out. And you can kind of take it easy and go for a run together and even run walk, right? That's what easy days are for. Easy days are meant to be easy. They're not meant to be busting out marathons. So structure and discipline and routines really are important for runners. It also allows your body to, 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 to not overtrain because the last thing you want to be doing is putting in a whole bunch of mileage by your lawn run on a Saturday and being like I'm done I can't run now I, I I don't have it in me by setting yourself up a routine saying I'm going to run an hour and 20 minutes this day or I'm going to run 45 minutes this day it gives you that structure to know what you're doing so that when you know your your weekend workouts come along you're fresh, you're ready, you're rested. You even build yourself your rest day. I'm gonna rest on this day so that I know that I'm ready that day. And it's a super important, guys. You, you gotta give yourself that routine and schedule. You can't just be out there winging it because you're, you're never gonna get where you want to get to um, running if you're just going through the motions. So build those routines for yourself, uh, build a plan. That's why, you know, find a race, find something to look forward to and build that structure. And if, You'll be awesome. I know you will. I did it and you can do it. So the other one thing I want to talk to you guys about is keeping those easy days easy and don't go out too hard on those easy days. I made that mistake a week or so ago. I, you know, on my easy day run, I, I went full marathon pace and I paid for it the, the next weekend. And we'll talk about that on my Monday vlog when I, when I kind of recap the week. I paid for it on a Saturday because I wasn't fresh because I went too far out. And my run coach was right because she told me not to do that. But at the time, I was feeling good. I was just like, going for it. And, and, and that's why those easy days, everyone, are so important to keep them, keep them slow. Um, if you're a 540, like I am, if you're a 545 marathon and a half marathon runner, Go your easy day runs are about 6.45. Go purposely slower so that you're not going to set yourself up for failure cause, and, and you can get injured, right? You can get yourself hurt if you're, if you're, if you're going out too quickly, too fast. You're, try, you're trying to get all this mileage in right away. Not going to go well. You know where it's going to lead. You're going to get that IT band you're going to get or whatever other injuries are susceptible. I got IT band a few years ago, again, by, by not training properly. So... Listen to that body and listen to what those easy day runs mean because they're just meant to be a conversational run, chilling, just chilling. And remember that when you're out there, you're just chilling and then you'll be good to go. Hope everyone has a good week. Get outside and do something for yourselves. I'm not going to do another live stream this weekend. I want to really concentrate on my Saturday long run and knock that out of the park. We're getting closer and closer to Calgary now, everyone, so it's crazy. So we're going to talk about that on Monday. We're going to talk about the training, where my missteps were this past week, because I definitely there were a few oops this past week. So we'll talk about that in the Monday recap. Get outside. It's hot out there. All there's, Everywhere I'm looking, seeing it, it's, it's crazy heat going on right now. So just you know, stay hydrated, stay safe. Don't take any chances. If it's too hot. Do something indoors, do some strength training, go on a treadmill, be smart, listen to what's going on within yourself, and don't get injured. Talk to everyone next time on the vlog. Have an amazing weekend.